All right, we're going to be treated to some strike force action. That means that unlike the unified rules of mixed martial arts, there are no elbow strikes to the head of a grounded opponent. He's working from the closed guard. Matt Yashenko connects with a hammer fist. Nicely done as he passes the half guard into side control. That's it, that's it, way to go. There's a nice looking punch. Oh, nicely done as he catches that punch. Ooh, great reflexes on display here as he catches that punch. Oh, nice, he caught that punch. Great timing. He's got his posture down now in the closed guard. He hits him with the left. Got to take advantage once you have wrist control. It's not like it's going to last forever. Hits him with a solid left hand to the head. Nicely done as he passes the half guard into side control. He's able to move to full mount. Couture throws a beautifully delivered punch. Matt Yashenko scores with a shot to the head. He hits him with a nice looking punch to the body. He's stacking them up, working in the closed guard. Yes, that's nice! You gotta take advantage once you have wrist control. It's not like it's gonna last forever. Couture has wrist control, and this could spell problems for his opponent. He's working from the guard, and he stacks them up. That's a great position to be in if you're the top guy. If you're the bottom guy, you gotta break him down or get ready to move your head. Is this the beginning of the end? What a shot! He is taking them to school with these strikes, teaching them. Oh, the ref has stepped in. He's waved off the fight. It's over via TKO. What a memorable way to end this rivalry fight. What a finish. This is one I won't forget anytime soon. Here's our announcer with the official decision. The winner by way of technical knockout, Randy the Natural.